How to Sell Services on Shopify for Beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can sell services on your Shopify store. So let's jump right in. Now there are two ways you can do this. Either you can sell services directly within the default product template, or you can use some upgraded tools and applications that can help you in building more customized and more efficient systems. I'm going to be showing you guys both of these ways. So let's jump right in. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to head on over to Shopify and you're going to log on to your dashboard. The simplest and easiest ways to sell services is to add them in the default product template. Keep in mind that this does not allow you to send out things like bookings or things like timings. This is just going to allow a person to purchase a service and then later on you can look at their order, you can fulfill their service, send them an email, so on and so forth. So the way that you're going to add a simple service is by going into product on the left. Then you're going to click on add product. Let's say I have a style analysis that I provide and then I'm just going to add this as style analysis and I'm going to generate a product description. Now within your product description, this is going to be very important. I like to specify that the person is going to receive an email right after their order is placed to get a confirmation of everything. So this just really depends on how you want to structure it. I like to write it down within the description. It just helps customers be provided a ease of mind that their service has been purchased and they will be followed up with an email address. So I like to write you will be followed up with an email from our team providing or confirming booking time and dates for your service like so you will be followed up with an email from our team confirming booking time and dates for your service like so now i can upload media for my product i am going to select existing media from my store like so now I'm just going to click on done over here. After that, by default, Shopify now has AI to check what this falls under. This is definitely going to fall under lifestyle services and personal services. After that, we are going to add a price. Let's say it's 100 and I'm going to charge tax on this. And then below that, we are going to uncheck the track quantity option simply because this is not inventory. This is not a physical product. Now, after that, we are going to move towards our next section, which says shipping. So you're going to uncheck this option as well, because this is not a physical product. We don't have to ship this service out to someone. Then after that, even within a service, you can add variants. So you might have a simple style analysis and you might have a style analysis with color analysis. So you can add variants within that. To do that, just click on add another option. We're going to remove the first one and the option name is going to be analysis type and the values are going to be either it's going to be style. I don't know why it's converting my A into an S, but I'm just going to add style analysis. For some reason, it is converting my A into an S. This is really odd. Yeah, now it's fine. And then we have style plus color analysis and maybe the style plus color analysis is definitely going to be more expensive so i can add the different pricing for that over here as well once i've completed that i can click on save over here and just like that our service has now been added i'm going to click on preview over here to show you guys what it looks like so this is what my service looks like people have complete details they can select the option they want and check out as they regularly would on your shopify store now this is one way to go on about if you want to go with the alternative route and you want to build something a bit different you're going to go on ahead and go back into your dashboard once you're back into your dashboard, you're going to click on settings on the bottom left and you're going to click on apps and sales channels on the left. Click on Shopify app store on the top right. And once you have done that, you are going to 
search for service over here. Now, once you search for service, you will see a lot of different applications that help you in adding services. This has a lot of different booking applications, which are primarily what you want to add. So you can search for services or service, and you will see different booking applications that allow you to add services and allow people to book times within their checkout. So you have things like the appointment booking calendar, you have digital downloads, but that's not relevant for services. You have appointment booking application appointly, and this is something I really like to use. You can sell only one service on this. That's a really big limitation on their free plan, but if you upgrade, you have a bunch of different options. So simply click on install over here, and once you click on install, you are going to click on install once more to complete the installation of this application. Once you have installed this application, you're going to see it on the left over here. Now, once you do that, you're just going to click on next, click on next, and then you're going to select the name of the product that you want to sell as a service. And we're just going to select the service that we just created. So just search for your style analysis or whichever service you just created and click on next we are going to proceed with our free version and then after that we are going to move towards our services on the left once we do that we will see the option to activate the application into the shopify theme store once you do that you are going to proceed on over here this has now been turned on and you're just going to click on save once you click on save go back and then just refresh your dashboard and it will display that the application has been turned on. Once you do that, you have to verify the store and if you want to remove the appointment branding, you can choose to upgrade. But we're gonna view this in our store and this is what the style analysis now looks like. Now, people can be led to the checkout, but we want to first include our calendar. So we're gonna click on calendar on the left and you will see all of your bookings and your booking calendar. You can click on add booking manually to add bookings or people can, you know, add their bookings on the manual checkout that they will have. So in this way, you can get started with adding services as product on your Shopify store. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries about Shopify applications, Shopify setup, or any other type of question regarding any tool that you are using, make sure to leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day ahead.